In this video, we will cover Biodata Catalyst powered by Picture and show how to add a genomic filter to a query. In addition to allowing filtering on variable value level data, Picture also allows you to filter on genomic variants found within studies on Biodata Catalyst. This is because Picture opens the Studies Associated Variant Call Format, or VCF, files and uses a pipeline to annotate the file. It is important to note that genomic filtering is a feature of picture authorized access and that this feature is unavailable in picture open access. Let's go through an example adding a genomic filter to a query. Here we can see that we've added a filter to the query on FM537 body mass index. This filter is narrowing our cohort to participants with a value greater than 20. For more information on how to find variables or apply variable filters, please consult the other videos in the Biodata Catalyst Powered by Picture YouTube playlist. To start a genomic filter, we can click the Genomic Filtering button next to the search bar. When this button is clicked, the screen will display the genomic filtering modal as shown here. Please note that to apply a genomic filter, you must select at least one gene with variant. Let's go through each of these fields to learn how to create a genomic filter. The first field is called Gene with Variant. This is where you can select specific genes of interest that are affected by a variant. To find a gene, you can search for an official gene name in the search bar. Let's try finding the Fat Mass and Obesity Associated, or FTO, gene, which has been associated with obesity and body mass index. We can start by typing into the search bar FTO to find matching results. From the results, we can click on the box next to FTO gene. Once this happens, we see that it moves to the selected genes box. We have now selected a gene. The next section of the modal is called Variant Consequence Calculated. This field lists standardized terms from sequence ontology to describe the calculated consequence of a variant. For more information, you can visit http colon slash slash www.sequenceontology.org. The functionality for searching and selecting a term of interest is the same as the gene with variant field. First, we can search our term of interest. Let's say we're interested in frame shift variants. We can search frame in the search bar. We can click on the box next to frame shift underscore variant and see that it is moved to the selected calculated variant consequence box. We have two options to remove this term. The first option is to uncheck the box next to the term. This will remove terms individually. The second option is to click the clear button, which will remove all selected terms. The next three sections are variant severity, variant class, and variant frequency. Variant severity refers to the severity associated with the variant consequence calculated. High severity variants include frame shift, splice disrupting, and truncating variants. Moderate severity variants include non-frame shift insertions or deletions and variants that alter the protein sequence without altering the length. Low severity variants include other coding sequence variants. Variant class refers to the type of variant as defined by the standardized terms from sequence ontology, including single nucleotide variants, deletions, and insertions. Again, for more information, you can visit http colon slash slash www.sequenceontology.org. Variant frequency refers to the variant allele frequency in nomad exomes of combined population as discrete text categories. These values are either novel, rare, variant frequency less than 1%, or common, variant frequency greater than or equal to 1%. To select categories from each of these fields, simply check the box next to the term of interest. As you can see in this example, we have selected high and moderate variant severity. 
The last field of the genomic filtering modal displays a summary of the genomic filter that was built. In this example, we can see that we have selected the FTO gene variant and filtered to high and moderate severity variants. We can start a fresh genomic filter by clicking the Clear All button, cancel the filter, and exit the genomic filtering modal by clicking the Cancel button, or add the filter to our query by clicking the Apply Genomic Filter button. Let's add the filter to our query. Once the Apply Genomic Filter button is clicked, the results panel on the right side of the screen will be changed. The participant count in the data summary box will be updated to reflect the new query criteria. In this case, there are 13 participants that have a body mass index greater than 20 and a high or moderate severity variant in the FTO gene. Additionally, we can see the genomic filter listed in the added variable filters box. This video has summarized how to add a genomic filter in picture authorized access. Watch the next video, Add Variables to Export, to learn how to select variables for export without adding a filter in Picture Authorized Access.